CNN has lost their mind, folks. It's fucking amazing. If you haven't noticed yet, CNN has lost their minds over Donald Trump retweeting a gif of him in WWE in 2007 beating the crap out of Vince McMahon, except Vince McMahon's head has been replaced by the CNN logo. It's glorious. It is a very spicy meme, and I love it. But CNN has lost their shit. And it's so fucking glorious. Let's watch a bunch of uh, media people lose their shit on national television. I'm a CNN commentator. I think that is unacceptable. I think that is the president of the United States taking things way too far. It is an incitement to violence. He is going to get somebody killed in the media. Good Lord, Anna. Melodrama much? A fucking wrestling gif is going to get someone in the media killed. Do you seriously believe this? Is this actually a thing you believe? I think it is, disturbingly enough. But you think a bunch of fake fighting is going to get someone killed? Oh my god, you need to get your fucking priorities straight, woman. I am disappointed beyond belief by the answer that the Homeland Security Advisor just gave. What a wuss. What a wuss. You could see that he is seeding his principles. You are the Homeland Security Advisor and you can't stand here and say the difference between right and wrong. So what did the Director of Homeland Security say? Just this. Raddatz asked if the tweet is the kind of communication you want that seems like a threat. Certainly not. Though I think that no one would perceive that as a threat. I hope they don't. I, don't, I do think that Trump is beaten up in a way on cable platforms that he has a right to respond to. Makes perfect sense to me. They treat the poor man like shit. That's what's part of the problem. He is surrounded by enablers that do nothing but shake their heads and nod their heads in agreement with everything that he says. They have got to stop. They have got to stand for democracy, for freedom of the press. This is just going way too far. The president of the United States is inciting violence against the free press. And America, we cannot stand for it. Dear God, Anna, you actually think this, don't you? You actually think he's calling for us to march on CNN and burn it to the ground? He's not. He's sick of you lying about him. He's sick of you treating him like fucking garbage. He wouldn't tweet out silly fucking memes if you wouldn't lie. It's so damn simple. Don't lie. He won't send out silly memes. Listen, I know a lot of people who work for CNN who have to be scared and, and, and wondering why the president has decided to physically pummel somebody with the CNN logo uh, on his face. So it'd be interesting to get some reaction. Nobody. You are all that freaking dense, aren't you? You, you really are. It's, I don't, why, why would he do this? Why would he do this? Oh, the lies, the constant, constant freaking lies about him, the slander, the bullshit. Yeah, that's, I have no idea, no clue at all. At CNN is scared. If anything, this is making each and every one of us more resolute not to cower at, to, at the bullying of this president. Did she say bullying? Good thing the magic word for today, folks, was blatant hypocrisy. CNN tracked down the Reddit user behind the Trump wrestling gif. Now he's apologizing. Please note the highlighted sections. K-File was able to determine key biographical details to find the man's name using Facebook search and ultimately corroborate details he had made available on Reddit. So you Facebook stalked him. And then he attempted to contact him by email and phone, but he did not respond. No shit. CNN is not publishing Han Asshole Solo's name because he's a private citizen who has issued an obvious statement of apology. There shouldn't be a writer on that. That should just be he's a private citizen. You're not, you just shouldn't do that. Uh, so you're thinking about all of the offending posts. Look at that last bit. CNN reserves the right to publish his name should any of the above change. <laughs> CNN's the thought Gestapo, people. They are the thought Gestapo now. This is a free press. This is a free country. This is a democracy. And if he thinks that with these little tricks, he's going to scare Jeff Zucker, he's going to scare anybody at CNN, he's got something different coming. We are resolute at continuing searching the truth, speaking the truth, and calling out right versus wrong. 
and doing seriously, ethically questionable things. <laughs> oh my god. And then look how uncomfortable that guy looked. Look at how uncomfortable he was. He's like, oh god, I don't want to be here. Oh my god. Anna. Woman. Go on vacation. Fucking calm down. I think that uh, prob my, my guess is the president doesn't regard this as literally inciting people to violence. I'm I sure he thinks that, it's that, funny. And I think that most people see it and they think pro wrestling is fake. Yeah. And they think that's sort of what he's getting at here. Fucking nailed it. The problem is that uh, it's just, it's more juvenile behavior. It's something that most people, including a lot of his own supporters, want him to quit doing, and he can't do it. You know, I didn't agree with the way Thomas Bossert was talking about this, but I think he's right, that it is genuine in the sense that he is showing us genuinely who the president Ramesh, is. Ramesh, this is not funny. Look, there's way too many. I didn't many. say it was. I know, but I mean, there's way too, and he can't think it's funny. July, 2017. Anna tells us what is and is not funny. Because she's the thought police! There's way too many unstable people out in the streets right now at this time of impassioned and heightened passions. We all know it. We've all seen it. We have seen the results of harassment. We've seen the results of shootings. We've seen the result of violence out in the street. Wow. Projecting much. You're the ones freaking the fuck out, Anna. Most of us are calm and just poking fun at you because God... Damn it, is it funny. You need to chill. And then this, we've seen what happens. We've seen the violence in the streets. You're talking like this is the fucking 60s, okay? That's not what's going on right now. There's a bunch of pissed off people. But Berkeley, we haven't had a repeat of that, thank God. We haven't had a repeat of a lot of the crazy shit. It happens in one-offs. And thankfully, no one's dying. Okay? You're talking like it's a fucking civil war or something. And for the president of the United States, who is supposed to be unifying this country, on a July 4th weekend, to be tweeting out incitement to violence. It is incitement to violence. Let us not parse words. Let us not call it by any other name. It is disgusting by this president. Yet one more disgusting act. Anna, do you feel that if you keep repeating it, that it's going to be true. Incitement to violence! Incitement to violence! Incitement to violence! It's not incitement to violence, okay? It was a joke. It was a joke that Trump didn't even make. It was something Trump probably looked at, had a chuckle about, went, this is fun, let's tweet this and watch CNN fucking explode because they can't take a goddamn joke. It's insane, okay? You've lost your damn minds. This was bad enough, okay, Anna? You were bad enough. But then you fuckers decided that we're going to go track down Han Asshole Solo because he made... A joke. Apparently he's not exactly a stellar human being. Apparently he likes racist shit and he makes a lot of anti-Semitic memes. Who cares? It's not why you went after him. You fuckers went after him and are threatening to dox him for all intents and purposes. Okay? There is no reason for you to go after him. Is it legal for you to find out who he is? Yes, it is. Do you actually, as a news source, need to have his permission to publish his name? No, you don't. But this shit is seriously, ethically fucking questionable because you're bullying him into silence. You are guilty of the same shit you are accusing Donald Trump of. Donald Trump doesn't want you to shut up. He might like that, but that's not actually what he wants. He wants you to stop fucking lying. And it's like you're incapable of it. And then when you're not lying, you're just being a bunch of fucking bullies to some random writer. You scared the man into silence because he thought that when his name got out, because as we said, he's not exactly a pillar of the community, that the liberal hate mob will come after him. You people defended Kathy Griffin with the fucking Trump head thing and that was an incitement to violence, and I agree it wasn't, it was just a horrible taste. 
by that same metric, this isn't evil.